if I told you 20 years later and you tell me you do the same thing the same way, bro, your apology does not mean anything to no, me. No, the, po- the the apology is is garbage. The right. apology is bullshit. Okay. Now, That's for fucked. for for Scotty to so look at we're gonna play devil's advocate here. Like look at Scotty's perspective. He's the guy on the team all year. Um, it was Pippen and Jordan. Now it's just Pippen. Uh, he's been playing really well all season. People talk about him as an MVP, but then if you look back on that season, Tony Kukoc really emerged as a great player. Uh, he got a lot of minutes over Tony because Tony couldn't play defense, which is like the knock on a lot of European players when they get into the league, right. especially as, as physical as the game was back then. So you can understand Scotty just like you know, big stage. This is Bulls Knicks heated rivalry. Uh, you know, I I need to be the guy that takes this I shot. I think Scotty's missing it. Missing the shot? Yeah. I mean, you don't. I mean, who knows? Because you just don't know. You feel me? Like you just no, you, don't no, know. No, you don't. You, you don't know either way. You and just and don't know. and Tony could have missed the shot either. And then if Tony misses the shot, then Scott is validated. Then Pip and is, how he's feeling? Yeah, is validated. And that's, which is crazy. That's how, that's how goes. That's how. That's crazy. It's fifty fifty, right? If that shot doesn't go in, then it's like, why not draw up the play for Pippen? Right. But now that it does, it's Pippen's being a, like being a child, like being so do immature. We have, okay, so my next question: Do we have? Wow, this is crazy. Do we have a different perspective if Kukoc missed that shot? Do we say Sky should have taken it? I think the narrative is way different if Kukoc misses uh, misses that shot. Right, way different because just like Pip looked at himself as the guy, like the press, the fans, everybody looked at Pip as the guy, like that was supposed to be the heir apparent, take the big shots, like have the ball in his hands during the big moments. And I'm, I'm, there are plenty of big moments that Pip has had in his career. Plenty and, of big clutch they, moments. And they showed, like, bro, this doc is phenomenal. They showed that t- Tony also had some clutch moments throughout his season. Yep. And and the thing is, it, 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 it's like when, um, why are we on KD today? When KD went to the Warriors, and they were like, yo, like, who takes, like, the question's always like, who takes the last shot? You had so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. Mm-hmm. And it's like, listen, man, like, everybody's great. You guys are all professionals. You guys probably have an advantage in some kind of way against your defender, dope. But... Sometimes, like, you have to go with, like, Phil went with his gut. Yo, I've seen this play before. I know it's going to work. I know their weaknesses. This is what it is. And you know what? Like, that's Tony's moment, and this is our team's moment to win a game. Scotty, you've had moments. Regardless of moments for years upon years, I think it's just so selfish. I think it's, it's I, I think ridic- it's, I think it's, it's disgusting. It's, ex- it's Actually, extremely I, selfish. You know, like, that's disgusting. Yeah, it's extremely yeah, it's disgusting. selfish to not go into the game. Um, but I do think the narrative is different. The for not sure. going to the game thing, I think, remains the same. It's like, how could you not do that? How could you not be there for your teammates, regardless of what your coach is saying, regardless of how you feel? But the narrative changes a little bit if if Tony misses the shot. What I do take away from Scotty doubling down on this, like so many years later, sick, is that this is who he is as that's a person. Who, that's Scotty. This is him. Scotty is Scotty. But like to me, bro, like the word I had for it when I t- when I hit you, it's just it's just, it's disgusting. It was disgusting. To watch a grown yes. man to double down on a nasty move. It's disgusting. But you could see it in his. What are you What are you teaching your kids? Like the thing is, Scotty had no. I'm sure Scotty cared about his teammates, but I think Scotty let his feelings about the franchise so many years that he was being underpaid, that his contract wasn't the greatest. I think it has feelings about his about the franchise. Just seep in in those very, very like crucial moments. I think this though, I think this is different. This is just me- it's the selfishness of man, like the like being well, so selfish, like being so self absorbed. Like this was nothing about like yo, so and so's. Like it, it was it, like to me, it wasn't about like oh the, the organization underpaying me uh-huh. or owes me this. Like it's like yo, like I'm the man. I'm the man. I want the ball. I want the shot. And if you're not going to give me the ball and the shot, then I don't want to be on the court. It's 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 disgusting. It's, it's nasty. Disgusting. Now I get it though, because you're coming from a spot where like, okay, Phil would never go into a play and say Tony over Jordan, right? Mm. Right. He would never go into a play and say Tony over Jordan. You're right. Despite what worked before, he wouldn't do that. So I guess it's entitlement. But I but in that situation that MJ let's say MJ is in that situation MJ doesn't say I'm not MJ does not say I'm not coming I'm in. not going into the game and that's the issue and then even uh, my issue is not you being upset about the about about the shits even earlier in MJ's career you remember that time where he only had 14 minutes to get his shit off he did his 14 minutes and he's still on the court begging 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 to get back in the court even when he's on the court on the bench like his team wins the game and he's celebrating with his team now you know the 
there's there's no other athlete whose ego matches up to Michael Jordan. You know, Scottie Pippen doesn't even come close. So in that situation, if he wants to be the man, the man, the man, like MJ is or like another star player is, you say, okay, I'm going to inbound the ball because I'm the best passer on the team and let the chips fall where I they may. Let the chips fall where they may. Yo, if, if you go into there and you make the pass and Tony does not hit the shot, you can say what you want. No, you still need to keep your mouth shut because you're part of a team. You let you're, everybody you're else talk. You're part of the team. You let, but like you, you still can feel the... You can still feel the... Like, yo... If, if if he missed a shot, I could feel I could feel I could, twenty years later I'll feel the same way. I I, I got the ball. I don't think, but I think his action, because I remember I remember going. You remember playing ball? Yeah. But we learned at an early age, fam. You don't quit on your team. No, you don't like, do that. You don't like. You know what I'm saying like if things aren't going your way, you know like if you get subbed out, like all that pouting shit, or like we all had that one player on that team who was like Scotty. Oh, I'm not playing if it's not about them. And we learned yep. that from an early age. That's bullshit. That is and, that's not, and, and we're playing a team sport. This is not golf. It's not. It's not, doubles, um, it's not tennis. It's come on. It's not do or die. It's not life or death. But in the in those situations, like you just really got to be like above yourself. Like yeah, get man. out of your head and understand that this is like just bigger than you. Yeah, that moment was bigger than him. Just bigger than and you. And I just yeah, I was really disappointed in the fact that he doubled down. Um, and did you you saw when Bill Cartwright? They said Bill Cartwright stood up in the in the in the locker room. He was crying. Bro, it, because of this, because yeah, man, because this is real. This is real. This is yeah. Like, remember, we learned from an early age, from Pee Wee, from Little League, from AAU. Like, that's not how you behave on a team. It's not. We've learned that our entire life playing sports. So now you're a professional at thirty some odd years. And the it's, stakes are bigger. We're not talking about no Pee Wee chip. We talking nasty. about yo, we can advance to the finals or to the semis. And it's still about you, bro. It's nasty. That's why I compare him to Drake. I feel like it's a Drake move. Not gonna do that. I feel like it is. I feel like Drake, like, so Drake has his like like Scotty dunks on people. He's aggressive. He's this, he's that. Those are his hit, those are his rap hits. Like his R and B his R his R and B hits are, ooh, they won't pay me. <laughs> ooh, they drew up the play for Tony. Ooh, I'm not going into the game. Ooh, I'm not, I'm not playing no more. Remember he did that too. Ooh, ooh my ankle hurts. Ooh, my, ooh, I got a headache. I'm not ooh, trying to my head hurts. Hate. I'm not trying to remember this. Ooh, hate. my head hurts. It hurts so much. I can't play against the bad boys. Yo, 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 <laughs> the bad boys. Ooh, those are some bad boys over there. <laughs> I'm gonna sit this one out. 